What is up you guys, it's Tom here from Jojo Productions, and today we are talking about how to get the Philip Bloom look. Let's do this thing. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly is the Philip Bloom look? Well, first of all, you need to know who Philip Bloom is. And Philip Bloom is this amazing British director, director of photography, camera operator. And if you don't know who he is, you definitely need to check out his YouTube channel. And if you're on YouTube and you're a filmmaker and you don't know who he is, then you really need to get out from under the rock that you're living in because Philip Bloom is just a god with a camera and imagery, and again, if you don't know him, you just need to look him up. So yeah, go look him up right now if you haven't heard of him, and then come back to this video. So I am doing this video very oddly because, not because I want to make fun of Philip Bloom, but more because of Philip Bloom has inspired me to do this video. Now I have been watching Philip Bloom, god, really ever since I started filmmaking, so it's been over 10 years now. And I thought it would be kind of interesting to break down the kind of style of shooting that he does. And I'm going to talk about how to get that famous Philip Bloom look. So getting the Philip Bloom look, how do we do it? Well, if you've watched a lot of his footage, you will notice that a lot of his footage is shot with telephoto lenses. Um, if you see some behind the scenes stuff, he likes to use that Canon 70 to 200. I know he's used the Canon 100 to 400, and he's used a whole other slew of telephoto lenses. But taking a look at the footage, most of the time you will see that a lot of his test footage, if you will, is shot with long lenses. It's very interesting, it's very different, but it also kind of makes sense to Philip Bloom because he is a documentary shooter and a lot of documentary you know, shooters need long lenses, they need to reach out, they need to grab something that's way out in the distance. And I think that's kind of where Philip Bloom is, you know, getting this style of shooting is because he was in documentary filmmaking for years and years and years. And so I think to me, that is probably where this inspiration comes from. The Philip Bloom look, um, it's using a lot of telephoto lenses, and just exactly what kind of lens should you be using? Well, I didn't necessarily use anything too fancy. Here, I'm gonna show you what I used to get this footage that uh, you have seen. Okay, uh. hold on. So this is the setup that I used to get my uh, test footage. <laughs> I know, this is a lot. This is the Canon 7D. And I have a really nice 75 to 300, well I guess it's not like super nice or anything. In fact, it's not even really that great of a lens. 
Um, but this is kind of what I had, and I just decided to use the Canon 7D. Why? Because Philip Bloom actually shot on the Canon 7D for, I think he shot on this thing for quite some time. So I thought I would, um, you know, kind of follow in the footsteps and do that just to um, kind of help enhance that kind of mood. And since we're going for a Philip Bloom look, I thought maybe we would just go all the way and just pull out the big guns. So that's kind of what I did, and this is what I'm using. So yeah, this is the rig. Again, Canon 7D 75 to 300. And if you're wondering, this is the Andy Cine 4K monitor. It is a brilliant monitor and I love it. And I think I'm probably going to be doing a review on it here quite soon, if you want to see it. So there you go. So the Philip Bloom look is really the telephoto lens, but it's a little more than that. It also comes down to a lot of the editing preferences that he uses. He likes to use a lot of slow motion stuff. I know that 60 frames per second is something that he uses a lot and 120 frames per second and he's just really known for that dreamy slow motion kind of look too but when it comes to like post-production and getting that interesting kind of look that Philip gets uh, we need to dive into post so I can show you how to do that so let's go there right now I will see you there so hey guys we are here now in post and I'm going to show you now the editing part of getting that Philip Bloom look. This is actually super, super easy. I'm just gonna mute this clip. So the Philip Bloom look, if you've noticed um, from his footage, if you look at it, you can see that there's some nice contrast, but the interesting part of the look comes from the raised blacks, kind of the washed out milky kind of looking blacks. So that is just super easy to get and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So watch this. I am going to come over here to curves. I'm gonna throw in some curves and you guys can do this completely in curves. I'm about to show you that you can. I'm just in Hit Film Express, nothing great. It is a free software. I mean, it is a pretty good software, but again, it's like nothing really super expensive, but you can still get it. So watch this. So I'm going to do kind of a basic S curve. I'm going to add some contrast. Lift that up a little bit. Now this is where, this is what I was talking about when you lift up the blacks. I'm going to come to this point and I'm just going to raise it up like this. See how those kind of blacks are washed out now? So that looks good. I'm going to come over to the blues. And he likes to add a lot of yellow tones, I've noticed from his footage. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go like this. And then I'm also gonna add some blues, Oops, not that much, into that kind of shadow area. So that I think looks pretty darn good. So let's take a look before and after, before and after. So again, shot on the Canon 7D. So nothing super, super fancy. This is only like a $400 or $300 camera. But again, um, Philip Bloom was shooting on this camera for years. So if he can do it, I really don't see why you can't do it either. So now just to add it, you know, kind of spice it up here, I'm going to add some letter boxes. And there you go. That's really all you need to do. So let's take a look. So there you go, that is the editing portion of the Philip Bloom look. Again, it is super, super easy. Um, just some contrast, and then you wanna just lift up those blacks for that milky tone. And really, that's about it. So there you go. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments about the Philip Bloom look, please let me know. Um, I guess, other than that, Philip Bloom, if you're watching this, I hope I did you some justice. <laughs> uh, leave a comment if I did, I guess. Um, that would be amazing. That would be super cool to have you comment. Duh. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.